what does trance mean to me? Well, for me, trance is more of a feeling more than, than a sound. For me, it's a feeling that when I feel it, I don't feel connected to my current environment. It takes me away somewhere, uh, almost like a loss of consciousness. Um, this could be through any type of music, um, not, not a particular sound for me. Uh, when I make trance music, it's feelings that take me away and subdue feelings that I don't want to feel or yeah, bring back, evoke happier memories for me or nostalgia. So it's more of a feeling than a sound. Um, so I would say that would be my definition of trance. So the world's about to end. One last party. Which DJs would you book? Well, I would probably warm things up with a bit of Sven Veit, who's probably one of my favorite techno DJs. Although I say techno, but he plays a range of um, melodic sort of deep um, stuff. So I would put him on for starts. Then I'd probably move into Chemical Brothers live set. Um, I thought they had so many hits. One of my favourite tracks is Star Guitar. In fact, if they just played that one track, that would be me. You know, burn, burn me alive now, and that's me done. Um, then I'd probably go with a bit of Daft Punk, Daft Punk Live. Um, yeah, shouldn't need to explain that one. Uh, and then finishing off, probably, probably a, a DJ called Fargy, who was. Probably, yeah, my favourite era was, of his was probably 2003 to 2005. Basically, a set from that era, uh, uh, any of the tunes, that would be me sorted and that would send me off nicely. So that would be me. What is my greatest fear? My greatest fear would be either forgetting people or being forgotten. What is my earliest memory? I think I was maybe three years old and my dad was tearing down a shed a garden shed in our back garden he was just gutting it with I think I don't know if it was maybe a, a pick or a crowbar and I was just standing behind him just basically crying with laughter I just found it so fucking funny um, and it's probably one of the most times I've laughed the hardest actually which I don't know what that says about my mental state but I just found it absolutely hilarious just my dad going at this garden shed with a fucking crowbar. And yeah, I was, I was just in absolute bets. Have I ever said I love you and not meant it? Definitely not. What is my guiltiest pleasure? Craig David. What is your all-time favorite movie? My all-time favorite movie would be the 2003 box smash. The Last Samurai, Samurai, <laughs> Samurai, with uh, Tom Cruise, um, great storyline, epic soundtrack. And I remember at the time, um, Judge Jules playing a bootleg of one of the tracks from the album. I think it was a small measure of peace. Hans Zimmer did the soundtrack. And um, Judge Jules played this bootleg and I remember saving up my pocket money for about 10 weeks and it's 10 weeks straight and buying this uh, bootleg remix for about 70 quid off eBay and it was called Nicholson Yin and I think it was a solid globe guys that were behind that um, so yeah many nice memories attached to that and it's yeah it's just a fucking great great movie Last Samurai my favourite movie of all time if I could change one thing about the world what would I change well I think that's pretty simple right now just fucking bring back the rave what is the most important lesson life has taught me? I've been taught a few lessons actually. Um, honesty is always the best policy. And yeah, always make an effort with people and yeah, never be stubborn. And yeah, put the effort in to stay in touch with people and don't expect anything in return. In a film about my life, who would play me? I'd quite like to see a young Ewan McGregor playing a uh, old belly boy sprawled across the car bonnet sort of shit. Yeah, Ewan McGregor. You are only allowed one alcoholic drink for the rest of your life. What would you choose? Mad Dog, MD2020. Drink it.
dragon fruit flavor, actually. If I was an animal, what would I be? Probably a hedgehog. Absolute prick on the outside. All soft and gooey in the middle. Which track from my back catalog best defines me and my sound? Well, I think, and this isn't a shameless album. Well, yes, it is. It's a complete album plug. Uh, a brand new track off my album called Rush. When did I last cry and why? Not too long ago, actually. Um, I went back home to Orkney for a week just to take my head out of the game, decompress. I've been in the studio all year, finishing the album, spent so much more time than I would do if I was touring. So, um, got away, got back to Orkney and didn't really didn't realise how much I needed it until I left. And yeah, leaving was, uh, I was pretty caught up because it all sort of came home, how long, how long it'd been since I'd seen my mum, my dad, my sisters, um, my stepdad, my friends. Um, and yeah, just, it wasn't tears of sadness, it was just tears of more, just almost release, like, wow, I really, really needed that. And yeah, just need to make such an effort just to, in fact, going back to the last question about um, one thing you've learned about life or recently, just to, make every moment count with your, with your family and your friends because yeah it's kind of going back to making the effort but um, I digress so yeah uh, last time I cried going, coming back home from Orkney and realising how much I needed that trip home and yeah can't wait to get back need to make an effort it's much more of an effort if I wasn't a DJ or producer what would you be? what would I be? <clears throat> either a footballer I was such so, so keen to take it down footballing route but realistically probably a plasterer what is your favourite country to travel in? Well, if we're talking gig-wise, it would be Mexico, hands down, just f because of last September, we all know what happened there. In terms of to look at, um, I mean, we're sitting in it right now. Fucking Scotland. What is your top three trance tunes of all time? In no particular order. Pat Butcher by Will Atkinson. Victims by Will Atkinson. And Rush by Will Atkinson. And if I had to choose one more, Telescope by Will Atkinson. <laughs> Long Way Home featuring Jess and Will Atkinson. If I Spoke Your Language with Gary Go featuring Will Atkinson. In fact, that whole album was fucking epic. Last King of Scotland. That should do it. What's the one thing in your schedule you're most excited about? Definitely most excited about getting getting this album out there. Um, it's been a labour of love for the last couple of years. Um, longer than that, there's tracks that I've been working on for five years that, have, that are on that. Um, and it's just just uh, amazing to finally get that product out there. And um, yeah, it's out now. So my debut artist album, that is one thing I'm absolutely buzzing to get off the schedule. So go and get a fucking copy now. One final message for the dedicated trance fans on Trans Portal. Just keep listening to trance. It's ducking amazing. Cheers.